Okay, once your background is finished and dry, everything is down tight, you're gonna flip it over to the back and you're gonna trim off anything hanging past your base white paper there. So we'll trim that to get it ready for the next step. Next, once you have drawn your instrument, your jazz instrument, you're gonna check it with me and then we will Sharpie all the pencil. Then go ahead and erase any extra pencil you see before we cut out our instrument. Okay, so if you have holes like I do in mine, um, I'm gonna cut out some of these spaces here so that um, it looks more like that instrument that should be there. So I'm gonna cut those out. There's several ways to do that. If it's a big space, you can always kind of fold it in half a little bit, get a slit in that space, and then that helps you get your scissors into there to cut it. If it's super tiny, I have a tool that we can use to cut that out, but anything big, we should just fold and cut a slit to get that space cut. Okay, so you can see I have cut those whole spaces out and now this is ready to be glued. So if you're not sure, you can come see me if you aren't sure if you have a space that needs to be cut out. Then what we're going to do is decide where it goes on our paper. So we can hang off a little bit, or maybe it's all the way on, uh, maybe it's slanted. So you decide how you want it. And then when you're ready, you're going to flip that over. We are gonna use a glue bottle. So if it's closed, it should be turning that lefty loosey to open it shake the glue down to the tip and then when you put glue on something you do very little bit you don't need big dots or fat lines of glue otherwise it squeezes out everywhere so nice thin line all the way around those edges and if you have holes you want to do it around those spaces as well and then we're going to lay it in place and push and hold Our last step to finishing is to get the music notes paper out of your resource folder and use that to help you draw some notes in the negative space. So you can draw it with pencil, then go over it with Sharpie, or if you feel comfortable doing with straight Sharpie, you could do that. So I went ahead and drew mine with pencil first, and then that way I can get it in the shape that I want. And then what we're going to do is go over it with the Sharpie, but then we also want to go back and thicken it up. So if this is just one thickness, I might go back and make it thicker and then kind of color in between those lines so that the musical note will show up with a thicker line. Okay, so you can add as many as you want. I would say at least aim for four. Um, and if you wanna add more, you can. You wanna vary the size and the direction and that will give it more interest. When you're finished, come check it with me. If it's wet, we'll put it on the drying rack. If it's not, then we will uh, put it in the grading box.